to Mary Carter Millens for organising this. Uh, well, my poem, a tiny little, a tiny little bit of information. The inspiration for this poem um, came from an article I read. The art, the journalist and author Don Mullins, the extraordinary account of a young soldier going to the war in 1915. And he was a member of the Royal Irish Fusiliers. And his mother gave him a little crucifix, a little metal crucifix, as mothers do. And that image of a metal crucifix ricocheted, or I remembered another crucifix that I had missed. And it gave me permission in this poem to harvest both images. Anyway, this guy was went off to the German offensive in 1918 and he was injured by a bullet. But the crucifix in pack, uh, ricocheted the bullet and it went, instead of going into his heart, it went under his left shoulder blade. Anyway, he was injured and he fell into a trench and he was recovered by two Germans. And later he returned to Ireland. And that crucifix was reverenced in his family almost as an icon and it was carefully looked after and wrapped away, and through time it was mislaid, till now. From an envelope. Out falls the missing crucifix, with the indent from the bullet, far during the German offensive of March 1918, as a family searches through an old sideboard on Ranella Road. I follow the story, how the mother of Private James Burke gave her son a metal crucifix before he left for the Western Front. How a bullet aimed for his heart ricocheted off the crucifix, clawing his left shoulder blade through the torn skin. Collapsing back into the trench was rescued later by two German soldiers. Private Burke returned to Dublin and became chief usher at the deluxe cinema on Camden Street and fell in love across the road. And I'm reminded of another crucifix taken from my father's hands before he was removed to the funeral home. Thank you. Thank you.